Dave, quick, what's your number one tip for service members and veterans to learn how to build wealth and achieve financial freedom? Well, I'm fucking glad you asked, motherfucker. We gotta dig into it. All right, so, I don't know, I'm being an idiot. Check it out, look. I've been filming content now for like three hours today. This is like my fifth long form video. I probably made like eight short form videos, including a short version of this one. But here's what we're gonna do. This is a Facebook post. So if you're not in the Facebook group, right? We'll just link down below. Or you can go to facebook.com slash groups slash military millionaire. You should be. It's got 67,000 people in it and we post some good stuff. So this post, when I took this screenshot and the highlights had 159 comments, 19,800 post reads, right? So it's engaging. Um, there's a whole crap load of comments and likes and things. And I went through and I had my assistant go through and kind of consolidate the most common answers. So I asked, what is your number one tip for service members and veterans who want to build wealth and achieve financial freedom? The number one answer by far was invest in your TSP. Simple. If you're not getting your matching contribution, do. If you got in before then, you should still be putting money in your TSP. Shame on you if you're not. Having a retirement fund as a buffer way down the road is great for you being able to take some risks and live life a little bit right now. Number two was buy personal homes as future rentals at each duty station. So I am actually, by the time you see this, it'll be too late, but I'm running a webinar tomorrow on house hacking with your VA loan, which I think is the best strategy. If you shoot me a message, I'll shoot you the, re the replay, or you know, if it does well, I'll probably host that same webinar a few more times. So, check that out. So yeah, I love the idea. Now I would say buy investments at every duty station, not just personal homes, because um, you can definitely buy a house that you shouldn't. Whereas if you buy it and treat it like an investment, you're much more likely to make a good decision, especially if you're house hacking, which will help you in the long run with building wealth. Spend less than you make, live on less than your means. Basic personal finance, manage your expenses, keep them a little bit lower than what you're bringing in, and you'll be fine. Utilize the COOL program, the CLEP, the GI Bill, disability benefits. Basically, utilize your military benefits. Now, obviously not all nine of these people said that exact same thing. This is her combining all the military benefits stuff to tally it up. Nine people recommended different various military benefits. Invest in yourself, educate yourself. I think that's huge. I mean, I'm dropping three grand a month right now on coaches. And I think that performance coaching and, and coaching and mindset coaching and all these things can be very beneficial for you if in the right context, right? Like it's gotta be specific to what you need. It's gotta be tactical, it's gotta be beneficial. There's great coaches and bad coaches, like everything. But I have a coach right now that I drop damn near two grand a month on for two calls, wouldn't trade it for the world. I love what I'm getting out of it. So that's kind of what I think, right? Don't buy unnecessary things. Now I'm not gonna say you shouldn't treat yourself every now and then, but like if you're gonna treat yourself, treat yourself to something that's not a recurring expense. Don't treat yourself to like a new car that's a $400 a month payment that's going to hurt you. Treat yourself to like pizza, some booze, a, a vacation, memory, experiences. That's the best. Um, but treat yourself every now and then, but like don't buy unnecessary stuff. Yeah, keep your expenses low while you're achieving that financial freedom. If we had put that in the buy, uh, in the spend less than you make category, we would have blown everything out of the water and been the top answer. Pay off debt, don't go into more debt. Now, it doesn't say it here, but I would assume they mean Consumer debt, bad debt, all that stuff, right? I just, today I paid off my Ducati, which should have been like, I think it was like a six or seven year loan and I paid it off in like, I think I bought it in July. So nine months. Um, because I didn't feel like having an 8% or 7.3% payment. And now I'm gonna start working on, I just bought a Tesla, which is like 12% interest, which is really high for, it's the highest car interest I've ever paid, but I got a steal on the car. And I'm gonna just pump money into that to pay that down quickly. Because again, consumer debt or bad debt or debt like that, you know, if it's not on an asset, I don't really want it. So I take the cash flow from assets and I'll pay off the crap that I don't need. Lower my expenses and then I'll be good. I'll be moving on with my life, right? So um, pay off that debt, bad debt, and don't go into more bad debt. Be savings account rich, save money. Nah, I mean, I'm not necessarily a huge like be savings account rich, have all your money in savings guy. Probably too extreme. I think there's definitely a happy medium there. I'm probably too far to the not risk averse side, so be a little more risk averse than I am, but you know, feel it out. Just make sure, yeah, have an emergency fund, absolutely. Have cash reserves, absolutely, and just cover your ass. Don't wait to invest, have a growth mindset, and don't be afraid to start with the last three. Which ironically kind of ties into, so I wrote down here two, five, nine, ten, eleven. So two, 
VA house hack or buy homes at each duty station that are good investments. Five, invest in yourself, educate yourself. Nine, don't wait to invest. 10, have a growth mindset. 11, don't be afraid to start. I think all of those point towards the War Room Mastermind, which I don't really pitch or talk too much about to here on the YouTube channel, but that is the like highest level of the military millionaire community. So if you're watching this and you're like, dude, I'm serious about fucking crushing my goals, reach out. Love to have you chat with my team and we'll talk you through what that looks like. It's not right for everybody. It is incredible. The best military community I've ever been a part of. Uh, we, we've got 337 members, I think, as of today. And they're all service members, all vets, and all crushing their goals. And we're only improving the system to make that even better. So I would absolutely recommend that you check that out. And I'll drop a link down below. Uh, or you can just hit me up and ask, you know, and I'll send you the link. Um, there's not a better group for service members and vets who want to achieve financial freedom. And the amount of people in that group doing deals together, crushing it. I mean, they get their, their fee 10x over, 100x over. One guy, when I pulled the group and asked, like, what's your return on investment been? One of the guys was like, I, th I think 1,000x would be too low. So that's pretty cool. So all that being said, hope this helps with, you know, these are people that have achieved or, or are achieving financial freedom at a high level. And this was their consolidation. So again, I'll just run through one last time. Top answers were TSP, invest, personal home, VA house hack. They didn't say that, I'm spinning that way. Like buy an investment, not just a house. Spend less than you make. Use your military benefits to your advantage. Educate yourself, invest in yourself. And don't buy unnecessary things or go into debt. Have some savings account. In basic finance stuff and i have a free personal finance course if you want that hit me up um and, and i'll shoot you the link for that i think it's below as well but anyway if you get something out of this please drop a comment subscribe whatever it helps youtube think it's actually worth a video dude have a great day life's good life's good and i'm glad you're here